Hi, this is Vankar Krishna from Chris Software Solutions. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to work with the actions class. What is the use of actions class and the various methods in it? Uh, how to work with the uh, mouse actions and all? Uh, the main use of actions class is whenever we are not able to perform some operations normally, we cannot able to perform. Uh, like for example inside of one menu another menu is there and inside of that one more menu is there in those cases and all we can we cannot automate with normal methods so we need to go for actions class which is provided by the selenium so whenever we want to perform the mouse operations on our elements then we need to go for actions class and it is going to perform all those actions on the top of uh, driver objects only so this is the syntax to create the actions class actions uh, a equal to new actions and you need to provide the your driver object and then few more methods are there which we are going to learn in this video how to work with them how to perform the mouse actions on it uh, let me take a simple scenario i'm going to show you let me open a sample website so this is the sample website once we come here uh, can you able to see here anywhere menu the jquery ui menus are there okay in the jquery ui menus you can able to observe here carefully Uh, some menus which we can do only with uh, uh, mouse see once we place mouse on here enabled you can able to get uh, these two options again you place mouse on downloads you're going to get these three options and then you can click on any option so this this type of scenarios we can perform only by using actions class no other way okay by using actions class only we can perform these actions okay first you need to identify this enabled and then go inside identify this downloads and identify which option you want to click on it now we are going to automate this scenario now okay so that's fine uh, let me try to create a new class here let me take the new class uh, that is uh, actions demo fine so let me copy from previous any methods are there uh, like previous methods let me copy from there so because already you know how to perform the uh, set the path of the chrome driver and uh, launch the application and all so and, and also you're going to learn one more uh, new weight today that I'm going to explain you and how to maximize the screen. Uh, for example, I want to maximize my screen. How you can do that? Driver dot manage dot window dot maximize so that your browser will be opened in minimized mode and then it is going to do the maximized. Similarly, I'm going to tell you one more weight also. Driver dot manage dot or uh, timeout start page load will be there. Place load timeout will be there. Okay. So this we are going to learn page load timeout. I am giving 30 seconds and here just we need to give time unit dot seconds or minutes you can give here. Okay, so that's it. These two we are learning newly here. Oh, that's fine. So now what we need to do? What is our scenario? Uh, let me open the app. This is, this is the page we need to open directly. I am giving the page only. Okay, I have given the, that page only. Already you know. See, I'm trying to work with the Chrome driver, and I'm setting here Chrome driver uh, exe path, uh, and then these methods implicitly wait. It will work for each and every element in your script. This is only for the page load. Whenever page loading is taking more time, then it is going to wait over there, and I'm giving the maximizing my screen. Okay, let me do one by one. First, I want to go to the enabled. Let me identify what is the locator for enabled. See enable text is there here. Let me try to write a uh, XPath for this. 
xpath a and uh, text right it is a text sorry text uh, equal to enabled see one element is highlighting successfully this is my first element what i am doing is uh, we are doing which scenario navigating to the menu uh, so uh, i am taking the web element here web element just i am creating the elements equal to driver dot find element by dot xpath xpath i am giving here so this is my first web element next so let me import this web element okay similarly i want to create for I, I want to click on excel here that is what my requirement now downloads downloads anchor link under i guess downloads only okay fine and what is the third one in the inside of the downloads i want to go for excel inspect it excel only is there fine so because the export is same uh, for these three i am not verifying this because it should work element 2 element 3 and the second element is downloads right same xpath i am using just i am replacing with downloads same third one also i am replacing with excel so our elements three elements are ready now what we need to do on these elements first we need to navigate to where first we need to navigate to enabled and then we need to navigate to download and then excel see how it is going to work now i'm going to write the using actions class we're going to use now how create a actions class object action any variable equal to new actions of you need to provide your driver object okay you need to provide your driver object as well as you need to import this class okay i have imported that now no errors are there now this variable i am using dot you need to go to where move to element first i want to move to where the element one i want to move i hope you understand here this is my element one this is my element two this is my element three please remember this enabled is element one downloads is element two and excel is element three now observe carefully here so first i am going to the moving to the first element and then i want to wait for just two seconds there is a pause method will be there you can use this and then again i want to move to the second element again i am going to do the pause here again i want to move to the third element now what i need to do on third element i want to perform the click operation okay that's it but each and every actions class operations we need to append with build dot perform every every operation we are packing we are performing with the actions class you need to append with uh, first build and then you need to add the perform so it is going to build all these actions and then it is going to perform the particular action okay so that's it this is how you need to work with the actions class what we have done we have taken what are all the elements are there in our application those all elements we have identified and then we are going one by one to the each and every element for the last element excel we need to click on it so we need to click on the last element and then build that perform is common for each action method okay so like this how you can work with the so before going to that i want to uh, okay these three elements are fine this is fine okay let me run this script and we will see i have updated the uh, to the menu also okay and chrome driver path is correct okay just for our understanding i am adding one more statement here just printing our institution name okay just for uh, checking purpose whether it is starting the execution or not okay let me run this now what is our expectation here once we click on what is our expectation here once we click on excel 
see excel is downloading here so that is what need to happen now menu 5 is there if at all we are performing with automation it need to download menu 6 okay fine let me run and verify okay chris software solutions is printed successfully okay the app is uh, browser is launched and it is going to the menu that is the reason it is taking more time that is the reason i have added the statement page load timeout see enabled yeah download is successfully excel see menu 6 is downloaded successfully here so like this how you can work with the menus okay not only menus wherever the mouse actions you need to perform there you can use the actions class that is the beauty of uh, actions class how we can use in our selenium you are not able to identify manually or selenium is not able to identify something then you can perform by using actions class and you can uh, perform the operations like click or send keys or you can pass the keys wherever it is required so uh, that is the use of the actions class so actions class mainly we are using for uh, automating the mouse actions mainly so uh, first you need to create a actions class object here like this how you need to create actions class object by using that object you are going to perform all these actions okay n number of actions you can perform in the single statement by using the pause so that by taking the pause it is going to the corresponding menus and it is going to perform the actions on it okay so this is how about the how we can work with the actions class so if you really like this video please encourage me by doing subscribe and liking all my videos so I'm trying to help you to get your job or to survive in your job and all. Okay. So thank you so much.